the species, then it should be occupied by the binomial genus and specific epithet. So the cases at the top of this list where only a uh, family or a genus is given, it's because that is the most specific scientific name that can be applied. And it's because they're hybrids. The name Anus platyrhynchus cross Anus something that I can't read because it goes off the end is not a scientific name. That name is not published. It's composed of two scientific names. Right? So to follow the definition of scientific name rigorously, I can't put that hybrid in there. But I can put Anus in there because that is the most specific scientific name that I can determine that hybrid to. It's in that genus, for sure. Make sense? Yeah. And uh, what about the uh, scientific name with uh, subspecies and, uh, and values? Uh, like that? Okay, that's a good question. I will hold that question and go back and show something, okay? So remember that and I'll come back to it in just a moment. Uh, I am a uh, difficulty relative at uh, a province, uh, a province, uh, <laughs> province in Benin. We, we say that we say at uh, a department after department uh, district. Mm -hmm. Here, what what is put? Okay. Um, I think I'll show that one at the front of the room also. Okay, I'll answer your question showing something up there. Okay, so I got two questions on hold. Any other questions? Okay, I'll I'll go up there right now and answer. The first one I'll answer was about what happens if you have the subspecific epithet undefined, like SSP. Okay. So, Darwin Core has the term called identification, oops, qualification. So let me move it to where it makes the most sense. So for this record, for this record, I have populated the field in Darwin Core called identification qualifier with a designation that the species was not known. I would do the same thing if the subspecies was not known, but this would say SSP. So in the original identification, this should have said anus spa. I'll go back to verbatim scientific name. And that's what it was, anus spa. So that's why in this case, genus was set to anus. There was no species because SP period is not a valid specific epithet. Instead, that's an identification qualifier. Make sense? So I've taken it all apart based on very detailed conditions inside of the scientific name in order to satisfy the real meanings of the Darwin core fields. Okay, so now the question is a geography question. And
I would like to go here. In Darwin Core, geography is divided up into different terms with unfortunate names. Some of them are okay. Continent is a fairly well understood concept, even if the division of continents is not very well agreed upon. A water body is an easy concept to understand. It might be an ocean, it might be a sea, it might be a lake, it might be a river, but at least it's a water body, and oceans fall into that category. So those are easy. Country, not so easy, but at least ISO gives us a list of country codes. Those country codes don't all correspond with countries, but at least it's something that was agreed upon internationally, became an international standard. So we can occupy or populate the country field with things that are understood throughout the world. Now we get into lower levels of administrative division. And Darwin Core has a state province field and a county field and a municipality field. But in some countries, there's no such thing as a state or a province or a county or a municipality because they have their own names for those things. And they might be organized at different ranks in different orders. So the question is about Benin, which doesn't have states, doesn't have provinces, it has departments and, and states. And department is bigger than a state? District. District. Department and district. District's bigger and department is smaller. Okay. So Darwin Core doesn't have a district and it doesn't have a department in terms of a name. What it has is this thing called state province, which is an unfortunate label because not everyone has those. So if we go look at the definition for state province, maybe that will help. I'll go do that now. So the definition for state province says the name of the next smaller administrative region than a country. So it's the biggest thing inside the country. But it might be a state, a province, a canton, a department, a region, or any number of other things. There are over 260 different names for that first level throughout the world. And sometimes a department is the biggest thing and sometimes a department is the smallest thing. Sometimes a municipality is the only thing. So it's all mixed up in terms of these names. But the definition, even though the label is state province, the definition says it should be the next smaller one. So in your case, it should be a district, right? Your districts should go in the state province field. And the same is true for county. It's the full unabbreviated name of the next smaller administrative region than a state province. So whatever is smaller than a district in your case, it should be a department. Okay? Ideally, these should have been named something like admin1 and admin2, so as to not be misleading, but that's not the case for historical reasons. Any other questions about data mapping? I hope it's clearer now. I hope you have an appreciation for how difficult it can be, so be careful. Okay, no more questions, for sure? <laughs>